Hi everyone, I welcome you all to this uh, small session where I want to talk about what has happened yesterday. So the exam was held yesterday, but in a lot of centers in Delhi as well as Chandigarh, I came to know that uh, the ION team itself could not reach the exam centers due to which those centers did not conduct the exams. And they asked the students to go to some other center for the exam. But when these students went and reached the other centers as well, the other centers denied saying that either they do not have space or they have not been notified about anything like this. So it was just a way of diverting students from one place to another with no fault of students. First, I received calls of some students saying that they could not reach the exam center to which I clearly said that if it is due to some personal fault of yours and uh, of course the rain is not your fault, it's an act of God. But nonetheless, if these are isolated incidents, then RBI will not link, look into it. But if the entire center could not conduct the exam, if uh, the examiners themselves were not available on the exam, then uh, RBI has to reconduct the examination for these centers only. This has already happened in the past. You might have already seen it in various YouTube videos on YouTube as well. People are talking about it. Teachers are talking about it because this was this happened in 2018 as well. So this happened in 2018 in uh, Kerala, where floods came in 2018, due to which the examination which was to be held on August 16th could not be held in Kerala in certain centers, not in entire Kerala also but in certain, certain centers only. Now, when these students reached out to RBI, then RBI responded and said that the examination for these centers only will be held again. And the mains examination, phase two examination, which was scheduled on September 6th and 7th, had to be revised, had to be postponed. Now, it's a good, good uh, news for a lot of students who are confident about their selection in phase one. Even if you're not confident, even then it's a good news because the exam was very unpredictable in phase one. So you might get more than 20 days, number one. Secondly, for all those unfortunate students who could not write phase one exam because of no fault of theirs, they reached the center, but the center did not conduct the exam. It's your responsibility now to reach out to RBI. They will respond only when you reach out in big numbers. If I keep email, emailing them, about different students, then they might stop listening to me because I will be emailing them from one email ID only. But if a lot of students in bulk reach out to RBI by emailing them or calling them and telling them that their center did not conduct the examination, then RBI will be forced to take some action. And in these cases, the organizations do respond. They have responded in the past. The only condition is that the students have to reach out to RBI. You cannot expect that RBI will suo moto on itself take any action immediately. That will not happen. It will take some time for RBI to take action, but it has to be uh, made aware of the situation in large numbers. If only 5-10 students reach out to RBI, then RBI might, say, uh, might feel or might assume that these are isolated incidents. But if hundreds of students or even thousands of students reach out to RBI saying that this has happened, the center did not conduct the exam, very clearly, we reached there on time, but the center did not conduct the exam. The examiners were not there. Then RBI will be forced to take some action. And it has already been done in the past. So it will happen again. You don't have to worry about it. The only condition is you as a responsible student has to reach out to RBI via email as well as call. Not only call, not only email, both of them. When you do these two things, it will take 10-15 minutes of yours. Automatically, RBI will have to respond to it. Okay, so this was my take on whether the examination will be cancelled or not. It will not be can cancelled for the entire population, for all the students. It will be taken again for the students who could not write it, whose centers could not conduct the exam and they have the data in the back end. So they will conduct it again, they will give you another paper and then only they will proceed with phase 2 of the examination. So the students who have written phase 1, this is, I believe, a blessing in disguise for you. Please keep preparing. I've already created a video on the next 20 days strategy. You cover it in the next 20 days and then you can repeat the cycle. Okay. You can keep doing the same thing over and over again. If you end up getting 40 days, nothing like it. Okay. So do this. 
I will keep seeing you again on YouTube as well. You can reach out to me via comment section below. You can also reach out to me via my website and my number double nine double nine four double six double two five. I'll see you again, guys. Take care. All the best. Bye bye. Jai Hind.